the reality is, is it's not always going to be easy. It's three in the morning. I'm going to make some eggs. I'm going to meal prep. It's three twelve in the morning. And I'm going to meal prep after the gym and after work on a Monday morning. There's no excuse for you not to meal prep. I meal prep by the day because I like to eat fresh food. But there's no reason that you have should there's no reason that you should have any excuse. You shouldn't have any excuse. Yes, I have on a hoodie. This is chicken that I cut up in a set amount of pieces. It's not a, it's not a specific science. You put it in an air fryer. You put it on the stove. You take the time to cook. I showed you this pan at the beginning of the video to show you. It's not easy. I still have to wash that. It would have been better. I was taught growing up that you wash your dishes as you cook and as you're, you know, eating whatever. I have neglected those rules, so I need to wash this. I just wanted to show you this. Because it's not easy. You gotta wash this stuff. You gotta cook every day. You gotta focus on your body. You gotta focus on you. Ain't nothing easy. Nothing comes free. Nothing just comes because you want it to. You gotta put in that work to make the adaptations for your life be better for you. I've put the chicken in, I've cut the chicken, I'm reheating it to the point that it's completely cooked because I don't want any half-cooked chicken. I've put in mushrooms, I've added a dozen eggs, I've added egg whites into the pan, I've also added spinach and arugula. I got some Oikos 23 gram protein yogurt that I'm also gonna add to it as well as some oatmeal that I'm gonna add to it. And this is, the reason why I'm eating this way is because I'm overweight. I look pretty bad to myself. So I want to improve my diet so I can improve my body, so I can improve my life, so I can inspire. So that's what I'm going to do. But the point that I want to talk to you today is, I touched on this in the podcast that I had a little bit ago that I posted or that I'm going to post bits of or the full thing. I talked about how the dedication to your diet, it's not a question once you just decide that you're just going to go to the store and buy the same things over and over again. The thing that you need to understand about food and the effect that it's going to have in your life once you take it seriously is that once you train your body to run off of a certain fuel, nutrient, also there's vitamins, vitamins that you can also add, which is what I'm doing. I don't add these every day because you also shouldn't train your body to only run off of those things. You should be able to have them and feel the benefit from it and also not have them and feel different. Me, personally, I don't feel any different taking vitamins versus not taking vitamins, but I'm willing to believe that they have some effect also. I don't use any salt ever. I don't use any seasonings ever, but what comes naturally out of the ground that you cook, I mean, that you plant, that somebody else plants and harvests for you. All of these vitamins that you may ask, B-complex, fish oil, vitamin C, vitamin D3, multivitamin, one a day. And, you know, like I said, take you sparingly, don't drown them out in your body, because I believe that's a lot of toxic chemicals if you overdo it. I do this maybe once or twice a week. But you need to get creative about your life. You need to get creative about your diet. You need to get creative about everything that you think about because there's options. Life is all about options. Life is all about choices. If you don't have choice, if you don't have the option to do anything different, you're not gonna you're not gonna be happy with what you're doing. I'll there be we go. We're at least a little bit more set up. Here's the chicken that I air fried. It is one way of cooking. And that does happen sometimes. That does happen sometimes. But the main thing that I wanted to talk to you about 
as I've said before, is about this diet thing, man. Because once you get your body used to a set amount of fuel, you then understand how to use that fuel to get you to the next thing better. Practice makes perfect. In this thing is just some mismatched, loose stuff. I'm literally going to put yogurt in here. There's mushrooms in here. There's eggs in here. There's going to be chicken in here. No seasonings, and I'm going to eat this. Arugula, spinach. I'm going to eat this because I love it. I've had this diet where I've had eggs as a main source of, of protein, a main meal, a main course meal that I've eaten continually for years. The question is that I have for you, is this genetics? Is it genetics to not get tired of the same stuff over and over again? Or is that just how you were raised, where you grew up, whatever, whatever? Answer me that. But I'm lacking. But what I'm telling you is that once you get this diet down, once you start consistently feeding your body stuff that it should be eating, especially at the specific times when your body needs it the most, which to me is all the time, just like stretching, just like resting, just like anything, the better you do, the better the results that you'll have in work, no matter what it is. But either way, eggs are the best because you can add so many things to them and you still know what you're gonna get out of it. You still can understand that it's good for you and it's gonna taste good as long as you put some good stuff in it and know how to cook it right and don't burn it. Don't burn it. They're so versatile, just like you should be. I mean, I might as well show you what this thing turns out to be and cook in real time. So what we're gonna do is with this yogurt, the little bit of sodium that it has, 2%, this is old yogurt by the way, there's not even, look at this. It's basically cottage cheese at this point. To calm things down a little bit, we just put it on there. Remember, this is 12 eggs, yogurt, 23 gram Oikos Pro, mushrooms, spinach, greens, um, just to be honest, you could do this with any kind of vegetable, really, any kind of meat, any kind of greens, any, oh, there's also egg whites, any amount of egg whites to egg yolk ratio. You really just gotta wanna make it the best for you. Remember, watch that heat. You don't wanna burn this type of stuff. The crusted parts are less appetizing, but oh, once again, if you're really a killer, if you're really dedicated, it's not going to matter if it's burnt or not. You're still going to eat that. Because to be honest, in this game of life, you need every bit of energy and fuel you can. And I just like to eat good tasting stuff, to be honest. Yes, the oats were in the stove. You don't want to overeat any sort of fuel. Once you overeat, like I just put all these oats in here. If you overeat any sort of nutrient, I say your body freaks out or it gets used to things that it shouldn't have. And that sets your bones, your body, like your muscles, your mind, that sets your body up to fail. So even though you might love eating oats all day, I don't think that you're going to get adequate calcium from those oats. You're not going to get proper protein from those oats. It may be nice and convenient and fun to eat those oats, 
like my mother does all day. But I'm perfectly content. I mean, I've been perfectly content drinking yogurt all day. I've been perfectly content eating nothing but eggs all day. My take on it is you got to have a balanced diet to say that you've given yourself the best chance at all these nutrients pretty consistently throughout your time existing and training and sleeping, eating, talking, whatever it is. And let me, let me, let me say, if you are not doing any kind of training regimen for any sort of reason, if you're just going to the gym just because you think it's good to go to the gym, I mean, that's good. That's better than not. If you're just working a job just because you think it's good to work a job, I mean, it's good that you're doing that. It's, you could be doing a lot worse in life, but the reality is, is that you need to be living your life for a reason. You need to be living your life for a purpose. You need to be living a life for a set outcome, for a desired goal, for an intended purpose. When people order stuff online, they want it at a certain time, at a, at a certain um, parameter because that's something they can count on to get whatever they want to get done done. Whether it's business, making something, whether it's for fun because they're hungry, for ice cream that day. They don't want their ice cream late. They don't want their pizza late. That's half of the uh, service of life is the convenience of your life now. Don't take tomorrow's day that you don't even have planned to you, that you don't have allocated to you. You're not scheduled to work tomorrow in life. Every day, every second, your heart can stop. Appreciate the time that you have and make something of it. Do greater than you did yesterday. Do greater than we did last week. Do greater than we did last year. Stay focused on what you're building with yourself. Because you're only going to have yourself, okay? No matter what happens. No matter how fat I get. I'm always going to have me as a baseline. Just like you. No matter where you're starting from. No matter how shredded or fat you are. No matter how insecure you are. No matter how tired you are of people, no matter where you are in life, you always have 100% control of where you are and how you're feeling about wherever you are. If you have enough power in you, you're never going to give up. You're always going to do better. You're always going to have a vision as to where you're going to be. You're never just going to let life happen to you. You're going to make it. And when you make it, you have an impact on everybody that's ever lived as well. Because anybody that's ever lived and had kids at least, they're alive right before you too. And me, and your coworkers, and your neighbors, and your friends, and everybody around you, there's a version of your ancestors, brothers, and sisters. So we all gotta appreciate ourselves, we all gotta love ourselves, we all gotta get that bread, we all gotta get that nutrient, dense lifestyle. Have a hands-on approach. Take it one second, one one day at a time, because all you have is today. Speed moves everything in life. Stay accountable. And let's let's do a prayer before we end t uh, today. Because these food is about to be done, and I have some plans to do, and so do you. You have some work to get to. I pray that you know. That where you've been is that who you are. I pray that you feel how blessed you are right now to be where you are, no matter where you came from. I pray that you understand that the people around you, when they do anything, when it comes to you, you can take it as a blessing. I pray that you have the mental fortitude to always remain focused on growing and becoming something because if you don't, I pray you realize that the devil of the world is going to have its way with you. For better or for worse, just know that what you can count on is what you put out there. I pray that you pray to you and you stick true to those prayers. I pray you make some good looking food like this. See, didn't I tell you? Didn't, didn't I tell you that we would make something looking good? So this is, once again, just a recap for the people who don't know. 
A dozen eggs, egg whites. I think that's zucchini cuts. Spinach, arugula, mushrooms, about to be chicken, vitamins, daily vitamins. That's, that's, that's time, that's effort, that's me washing a dish. You gotta, you gotta stay consistent. You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay dependable, you gotta stay accountable. You gotta stay loving, you gotta stay caring, you gotta stay open, you gotta stay enthralled with life. Because if you're not enthralled with life, you can be looking at that clock, waiting for it to pass, not realizing that you don't have forever to even look at that clock in the first place. It's not your clock to look at. This is not even your body to enjoy. Your ancestors put this here. I really wish you could understand how good this smells. I'm gonna need to start co cooking on here consistently just to keep putting you on and I guess show the world how awesome it is to eat this way. And even though I'm out of shape right now, bent up, I got a little something going. I think people tell me, people tell me I got bicep, ba bicep veins, bicep veins. I got some muscle striations. I have abs when I want to. I'm around 200 pounds for reference. I'm pretty short. Don't come at me. Let me know if there's a Q&A that you want to ask or just ask it in the comments. I'll try to get to it. But my focus right now is on growing to be more inspirational physically, mentally, weighing options of life and thinking about things in a different perspective to be able to achieve new heights for everybody. Editing is something that I've been working on. Hopefully you can tell. Let me know if you think that I could do something different. I'll think about it, and if I disagree, I'm not. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, talk about it, start the conversation, be about it yourself, make a channel. Without other people making channels, I wouldn't be who I am today because I wouldn't think about the things that I've thought about in life. Do better, be at a higher level, excel, move with a sense of urgency, speed, 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 go, 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 life is fast. You gotta be on the edge to make it blast. Let me know if I should be a rapper, 2024, 2025. Let me know if I should be a musician, a composer. Get some stuff done. Today, I got some stuff done. You'll see the new setups. Make a new setup for your life, for the future you. You don't have forever. What's going to happen in the next five years? What's going to happen by the end of the year? I want a thousand subs. Make it happen. We're going to make it happen. We're going to post. We're going to put the work in in the gym. We're going to sleep. What are you going to do? Tell me. How are you going to impact your family? How are you going to impact your loved ones? How are you going to impact yourself? How are you going to make a legacy? Tell me.